Welcome to Not Without Coffee with Glenn Mathis for the coffee connoisseur who wants to know more about their cup of ambition. Join Glenn as he uncovers some fun facts about coffee and coffee history, his own storied past with this bean brew, and some new coffee trends on the horizon. Glenn has his cup. It's time to grab yours and start this episode. Not Without Coffee. Here's Glenn. Welcome back, fellow coffee lover. How was your work week? Are you in your quiet space? You have your cup ready? Let's breathe in the smooth aroma. And exhale through the mouth. Breathe in one more time, the smooth aroma. Exhale through the mouth. That's pretty refreshing, isn't it? I know it is for me. Uh, today's topic, let's go over it, is simply the history of coffee. Welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome to the show. We're all about coffee. Drama-free, stress-free, the coffee zone. Now let's get started, shall we? Okay, not yet for you, okay? Wait till I point to you, then you speak, okay? Now, coffee was discovered in 850 BC by an Ethiopian goat herder named Khalidi, K-A-L-D-I. He noticed his goats. Okay, now I'm pointing at you. That's your cue. He noticed his goats. That That's you. Say something. He noticed his goats. <laughs> yes, the goats were acting a little more excited than usual. Then he discovered they were eating a coffee berry. My guess also would be they were probably leaving a little more fertilizer than usual. You know, the side effects of too much coffee. Can you imagine that? And uh, noticing the goats getting excited and erratic after eating these berries, he decided to try them himself. Now, my thing is, isn't there a village tester who tests these things too? And then you wait a couple of days and see if he's still alive. Or maybe don't you have like a little brother or sister who you give it to and I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just to see if, you know, it's okay to eat for you. But no, not him. He just dove right on in, grabbed a handful and started chowing on him. Luckily, he stayed alive and coffee was discovered and bought to man. Can you imagine how excited those goats were? I mean, they're already bouncing off the walls, jumping on each other. And then they do that falling over dead routine. Then you add coffee to the mix, caffeine to the mix. It makes you want to go actually do that now, feed some goats some coffee berries, just to see how they would act. No, 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 please don't do that. We love goats. Please don't do that. (laughs) Now, traveling along the timeline, we come to 1475 BC, uh, where the first coffee house opens. Then what the city was called Constantinople. Today, it's called Istanbul, Turkey. Coffee's come a long way, don't you think? Are you still with me so far? Can you imagine how many options that that coffee shop had? Yes, your choice is coffee or coffee or coffee. I'm pretty sure maybe they gave it to you in strong or light. And going down the timeline, 1660, coffee surpasses liquor as the number one drink of choice. That is kind of hard to believe, being liquor, though. (laughs) I guess... Would you rather your spouse come home liquored up, drunk, or on a coffee caffeine high? Hmm. Email me your answer on that one. I'd like to do kind of a survey on that. Uh, email me at the website, notwithoutcoffee.com. I'd like to get your opinion on that particular topic. My spouse, I would rather my spouse be stinking drunk, or I'd rather my spouse come home high on caffeine. I want to hear your thoughts on that. And along also this particular coffee timeline, 1570 coffee export is exported to Europe by way of Venice, a popular trade, uh, foreign trade port. Uh, in 1773, coffee becomes more important, more important, more popular actually than tea at the uh, Boston Tea Party. I wonder if that was by default. Guys actually to, threw all the tea over and had nothing else to drink but coffee. Kind of makes you wonder if coffee really won that or, like I said, was it by default? Further along, 1892, coffee company opens up by the name of Maxwell House. Uh, Maxwell House Blend was invented in Nashville, Tennessee. Instant coffee came along in 1938, named Nescafe. 
And moving finally right along, 1971, a famous coffee shop opened up. Now, the owner, he wanted to name it after uh, the Moby Dick Captain Ahab. But Ahab wasn't just too catchy, just didn't have a certain ring to it. Instead, he went with his first mate's name, Starbucks. Ever heard of them? How well are they doing? Trust me, I wish I had invested with them back then. Of course, in 1971, I was only one year old. (laughs) I have just given you how old I am, by the way. 1971, I was born. Now, let's jump forward to 2017, where there's an estimated 21 billion pounds of coffee mass production around the world. Now, that's a lot of coffee. Now, coffee's come a long ways, don't you think? And let me ask you something, fellow coffee lover. What is your history with coffee? Does it bring back a fond memory of your past? Do you remember your first cup? I know I do. It was mine. Mine was way back in college, doing all-nighters for a major exam the next day. I always had to tend to to wait the last minute to do things, and I would cram, and coffee would be right there by my side. And ever since then, I have been hooked. Just the smell alone is good enough to wake me up, to put you in that zone, that relaxed zone, right before you know you're about to hit that storm, which is work or your kids or your spouse or whatever may be stressful in your life. It does make a difference. Now, all my parents and my grandparents drank coffee, so I grew up kind of seeing it all my life. How about with you? Now, just remember, when drinking coffee, relax your mind, boost your body. Also, drinking sometimes with a great history link to it. Coffee lover, I want to thank you for listening to this episode. Be sure to tune in next week. Podcast is going deep into the, the importance of coffee. How important is coffee worldwide? That's going to be the next topic. Hey, also, sharing is caring. Tell a fellow coffee lover about us and about your new hangout. Take care and keep grinding. Fellow coffee lover, thanks for listening. Be sure to tune in every Saturday morning, Central USA. Also, sharing is caring. So tell a fellow coffee lover about your new hangout. To contact us, just go to our website, www.notwithoutcoffee.com. Take care and remember to always keep brewing.